Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Mr Breakfield Reads. As you know, we have finished the Twits now, and many of you have got busy with some creative things at home to do with the Twits. I know that Jack in my class has made some wormy spaghetti, not with real worms, um, but that was another great idea that I, di I didn't come up with, which was that you could make um, revolting recipes to go along, along with some of the recipes that were in the, uh, were in the book, um, or make up your own. It's an even better idea, isn't it, to make up your own ideas about recipes. You could even make models of the, of the characters rather than um, drawing a picture, you could make models of them. You could make puppets as well and act out some of the scenes from the, from the uh, book. So there's loads of great ideas, get busy with that, and you can even do that, do some of those ideas for the books that we read um, beyond the twits as well. So uh, we might do some, I might do some more videos about writing, I might do some more videos about uh, the things that you can do, but you can do that. You can do those ideas for any of the um, any of the books that we read. Anyway, on to my new idea. So, Wednesdays and Sundays, what we're going to do is we're going to continue to share a, a chapter book and return to it each time. But, on a Friday, what we're going to do is we're going to have something called Picture Book Friday, where we share a picture book. So, the videos on a Friday will be a one-off video with one story that I'll share with you, and then each Friday will be a brand new book. So today we're going to share, or I'm going to share with you, The Lion Inside by Rachel Bright, uh, and illustrated by Jim Field. In a dry, dusty place where the sand sparkled gold stood a mighty flat rock, all craggy and old. And under that rock, in a tiny little house, lived the littlest, quietest, meekest brown mouse, He was very tiny, so incredibly small, that nobody noticed him, ever at all. He got trod on and sat on, and missed out for stuff, ignored and forgotten. Yes, mouse life was tough. Meanwhile, far above, on top of the rock, times were quite different. It was lie on a clock. This huge, toothsome creature made sure everyone saw how important he was, by how loud he could. He was head of the pack, he was shouty and tough. He loved showing the crowd, he was made of strong stuff. Yes, all were impressed by this mighty king cat. If only, thought Mouse, I could be more like that. Then late one dark night, in his Minnie Mouse bed, the cleverest thought popped into his head. He jumped from the covers and held up a paw. I got it, he said, what I need is a roar. I mean, what if this mouse, with the beaniest squeak, was a little more grrrr, and a little less meek? Well, he'd still be the smallest of fuzzy brown mice, but he'd make friends and join in, and life would be nice. Yes, thought the mouse, I must find out how. I will learn how to roar, and I will learn it now. But gulp! Oh my gosh! There was only one beast who could teach him this thing, but might make him a feast. It was time to be strong. Take a chance, after all, forever was such a long time to feel small. So he made himself brave, and he fought like a winner. He set off for the top, hoping not to be dinner. It felt like the scariest thing he could do, but if you want things to change, you first have to change you. The further he climbed, the closer he got to the slumbering lion reclining on top. Then at last, as he stood on his tippy toes, he found himself suddenly nose to... Nose! Ahem! Gulp! Pardon me! Wake up, Mr. Lion! You've got company! Um, squeak, Mr. Lion! What I've come to you for is... Squeak! Do you think you can teach me your roar? A silence befell that twinkling plain. Lion opened his eyes and puffed out his mane. Time slowed right down, why it felt like a week. Then he opened his mouth and let out Anne. Eek! The 
The lion was shaking, his paws all a fumble. He was backing away with a scrambling tumble. Don't hurt me, he whimpered. Oh, try to be nice. Well, my goodness, this lion was frightened of mice. Don't worry, Mouse Pete. I'm a friend, not a foe. Let's rock this together. We'll have fun, don't you know? That was a magical moment for sure, when Mouse didn't feel at all small anymore. He, was, he had found his true voice and learned to speak out, and for that you don't need to roar or to shout. And from that day and always the two were a pair. They both liked that rock better, now that rock was to share. The Mouse, while still, still little, felt big in his head. A lion, he still roared, but with laughter instead. Yes, that day they both learned that no matter your size, we all have a lion and a mouse inside. Okay, so that was our very first Picture Book Friday. Uh, next week we will have a completely different picture book, but in the meantime, I will um, see you on Sunday for our, for our brand new chapter book. But before that, I'd like you to have plenty of uh, fun reading and be creative, and I'd like to see more of your examples sent into school. So in the meantime, stay home and stay safe.